Hello there, Ali here from Sports Templates, and today I'm bringing you guys this soccer ball mock-up. It's only two months till the World Cup in Russia, and as a graphic designer you always want to be prepared with these kind of mock-ups for any potential project. So I'm going to be making three different types of designs with this mock-up. The first one is going to be a full ball wrap, and I'll be making this Barcelona custom football. I've already went ahead and prepared my own library for the Barcelona colors, so let's get started first off I'm gonna go to this ball wrap open it up and we have the base color and the smart object here double click on this little icon and this shows up the editable smart object I've already went ahead and outlined the borders of the ball so anything outside these borders is not gonna be shown on the ball everything inside is gonna be on the ball so let's turn on the guides to get started let's get rid of this red and let's make the background this Barcelona blue color and then we need to draw this shape we have a big line in the middle then we have five lines to the left and five lines to the right each one approximately half the size of the one preceding it all right so to get started let's go to the rectangle tool and let's draw rectangle or cross or design and let's make it red let's make sure it's centered and let's make a copy control J and then control T so we can transform it and let's take it to the left and reduce it to half so something about that is is okay let's do the same thing control j control t drag and now that we have this design let's group all these shapes together apart from the middle one so select the last one Press sh keep pressing shift and select the top one then merge shapes now we have them as all as one shape do the same thing control J control T and then right click flip horizontal and let's take it to the other side next up we're gonna put the big Nike logo in the middle so and let's make it yellow Next up, let's get the Barcelona logo and put it on top. So I have these three guides going horizontally. This one indicates the absolute middle of the ball. This one shows the middle of this top pentagon. And the third one shows the middle of this lower pentagon. So let's make it a little bit bigger and make it centered right about here. And one last thing is to add the Barca warp mark. Make it yellow again. And let's center it. We want it to be at the bottom of this bottom pentagon, so we'll put it a little bit south of that guide. Let's remove this guide. Click Control S and see how we did. Looks like we need to make this Barcelona logo a little bit bigger and we need to bring this Barca warp mark a little bit up. So come back, bring it up a little bit, go to the logo and make it a little bit bigger. Let's save again. One last thing I could, I'd like to do is change the background color. So I pick this off white kind of grayish color and we can change the background text so Barcelona football that's about it for the first example seeing that this is a full wrap we can do anything with it we can do all kinds of designs so if you bring back the guide and let's say we want to put a flag on this I already have this USA flag we can just drag it onto the smart object 
resize it a little bit. All right, maybe take it like this, and let's press Control S to save, and here it is. So if you look here, you can see you have the ball wrap, you have the separate hexagons, and you have the flags. So if you turn on the separate hexagons, we get the classic look of a soccer football. So if you go in, you can either change the colors of the group, uh, pentagons and hexagons, or you can uh, turn it off and turn on the individual, and you can go in and change each individual color separately. For the sake of simplicity, I'm going to use the group. Uh, so for example, we can pick yellow for this and purple for the hexagons and come in here change text to white and instead of the flag let's put a Nike logo let's make it yellow hide the flag and save something else we can do also is change the background color and we can get this promotional type soccer football we can add your logo you add your text change colors separate parts of the ball one last thing I want to show you is the flags so with the flags option I've mapped 20 flags onto this ball which you can edit individually so if you open the flags here you can see each one of these is its own separate smart object so for example if you want to edit this Argentina flag you can double click in here you can also turn on your guide so you can see what's going to be shown inside this hexagon so if you want to change the flag in here I can just take let's get back to the US flag for example just drag it in here size it up a little bit this guide shows us which shows us what's going to be inside the hexagon let's line this up with the top of it and let's remove the guide control s and boom you have your flag here or you can put any kind of image but that's the general idea of this design let's make the background something different like russia 2018 world cup maybe pick a different color for this change the background something like red and let's make the font off-white one last thing i want to talk about is the quality of this template so this is an 8k template if you go back to the first one we made and zoom in at 100%, you can come in and see the level of details and this template. Also, you can go into this effects folder and you can play around with these uh, layers. Uh, for example, if you want the ball to be more glossy, you can just duplicate this glossy reflection layer and you get a more glossy ball. You can do this again and it's even more glossy. Or if you want it more like matte finish, you can turn it off, turn off this one, uh, maybe add more shadows to get at this metallic look and bring back the reflections. So you can really play around with these templates and uh, it's up to you to shape this template however it fits your project or presentation we'll be releasing more stuff more soccer stuff especially in the coming in the coming weeks uh, leading up to the world cup so stay tuned and see you guys in the next one I don't know, no.